Welcome to Easy Learning, Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be looking at the topic indices and logarithms and our subtopic for the today is laws of indices. So we're going to look at each and every law of indices uh, and then we are going to finish up the laws in the next in the continuing videos. So we will start with the basic laws and get to do a few practice questions in regards to those laws. So first of all, index is usually the number to which or the power to which a certain number has been raised to. So for example, if we say uh, 2 power 1, which gives us 2, we say that 1 is the index of 2 or it is raised to 1 or it's the power. If we say 2 power 2, this is the same as 2 times 2, which gives us 4. So the value 2, the one that we have raised the 2 to is what we refer to the index. So 2 power 2, it means the index here is going to be 2. If we do 2 power 3, for example, which becomes 2 times 2 times 2, we get 8. So we said 3 is the index. And for example, if we do 2 power 4, which is the same as 2 times 2 times 2, times 2, which is the same as 4 times 4, which gives us 16. So the 4 is the index. So if we have so many numbers raised to different values, we call the, those values indices. So let's look at some of the laws of indices. The first rule is any number except 0 whose index is 0 is always equal to 0. If you raise a number is equal to is always equal to one. So if you raise a number to the power of zero, you always get a one. Next rule talks about the multiplication of index indices at the same base. Remember the key thing is the same base. If you have been told to multiply the indices or the powers but they're in different bases, then that is not going to work. What I mean is this. So, for example, if you look at a raised to power m times a raised to power n, this is the same as adding the indices or the powers raised to that base, if the base is the same. If we had a raised to m times b raised to n, then it's not possible for us to say that a, b, m plus n. This is not possible. So, it only happens when it's under the same base and then the third rule is the division so if you have the same base raised to a certain index you can be able to to subtract those indices in the case of this of the division sign so for example a raised to m divided by a raised to n that is the same as putting them in the same base which is a so the index will be m minus n and then uh, the rule number four is to raise an expression into the nth index, you copy the base and you multiply by the index. So for example, a uh, power m times n is the same as a power m n. So this also comes, brings us to, if you open a bracket, for example, if you had a power m, and then you multiply by m, this is basically what it means. So it's the same as a, m, n. You multiply, you open the bracket, but in this case, the indices are the ones that, are, or the powers are the ones that are multiplied. So let's try to put these rules or uh, rules into practice so that you can see what we mean. So we have x power 3 and y power 6. So what do we get? Y power 3 times Y power 6, we get what? So we said as long as it's in the same base, so our base in this case is Y, so the index is 3 and 6. We say if there's a multiplication sign or you're multiplying, you add. So this becomes 3 plus 6. So our answer becomes Y, 3 plus 6 is the same as 9. So it becomes Y power 9. Look at another example. So when you look at this example, different values have a different bases. So we put the bases that are similar together. Basically, we are putting the light terms together. So we have a power 5 times c power 2 times a power 3 times b power 3. 
fact I'm a power 4. So you put the a's together because they are the ones who are many with the same base. So this becomes a power 5 times a power 3 times a power 4 times c power 2 times b power 3. So if we put the base, which is a together, this becomes a into bracket 5 plus 3 plus 4 then times c power 2 times b power 3. So 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 plus 4 becomes 12. So this becomes a power 12 times c power 2 times b power 3. This is the same as a 12 c 2 b 3. You can decide to put the multiplication sign or you can leave your answer this way. Let's look at another example. We have this example. So remember the powers, how we were doing them. So this is in the rest in, uh, in the same base. Our base is 2n. We can further work it out. So if the base is 2n, so it's going to be 2n. And then we add the indexes, the indices, which is 3 plus 5, which gives us 2n raised to power 8, as you can see. So that is going to be our final answer. You can choose to separate, which can be 2 raised power 8 times n power 8, so that if you raise, uh, if you multiply 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 8 times basically, you're going to get uh, 256. So you can go ahead and put 256 n power 8 but even if you leave your answer this way you're still going to get the answer then we have also this value so the first thing you can see we have integrated the multiplication and division so you can work on the numerator and then we introduce the denominator and then finalize so the numerator is x power 2 y power 3 times x power 4 y power 2. So we put the light terms together. So it is x power 2 times x power 4 times y power 3 times y power 2. So x power 2 and x power 4 is the same as in the same base x 2 plus 4 and then y in the same base 3 plus 2. That gives us x power 6 times y power 5. And then you divide now um, with the uh, denominator, which is x power 3 and y power 4. So still we put the bases together. So it is the same as x power 6 divided by x power 3, and then y power 5 divided by y power 4. This is the same as in the same base, is x 6 minus 3 and y 5 minus 4. So this 6 minus 3 gives us 3. So it is x power 3 over y. 5 minus 4 gives us 1. So it's y over y. x, x, x power 3 times y, our answer. This is because you can see like the lower denominator has less values, so the division of course ends. So if you so if you cancel this three with the three here, you're left with three, and then four my five minus four, you get one. So it is x power three times y, which is left. Let's do a few more examples. So we have this in place, so we can separate the uh, numerators and the denominators. In this case, we can do the all numbers first. So this is 12 a power 5 uh, b power 3 over 4 a power 3 b. So you can do the division for the 4 divided uh, by 4 1 by 4 you get 3. So it becomes 3 a power 5 b power 3 over a power 3 b. So 3 you see for the a values, you can work them out. So it is 5 minus 3, which gives us 2. So you cancel this, you get 2. So you are left with 3, a power 2 on the top, which is a numerator. And then you see there is a power 1 in the below value. If you subtract 3 minus 1, you get 2. So if you cancel this one, this one is left to like you have subtracted 1 from it. 
So it's left B square. So this is your answer. We have this value. So we are looking for the value of x. This is very common in the practice question. So we open the bracket, the first bracket. So 2x times 3 becomes 6x. So it's possible for us to do this because they're in the same base of 3 is equals to 3 power 4 times 3 power 8. So if you only take the indexes, it means the indexes means 6x is equals to 4 because of the multiplication plus 8. So 6x is equals to 12. You divide by 6, you divide by 6. So the value of x is 2. So this means the value of x is 2. In this case, you're asked to look for the value of x. Let's do another question. So 7 power 5 times power x. So this is the same as 7, 5x. If you open the bracket, as we said, is equals to 7. You open this bracket as well to get 4x. And then divide by 7 power 2. So let's just use the index indices. So it's 5x is equals to 4x minus 2 because they're in the same base. So you put the like sums together. So it's 5x minus 4x, you brought this this side, is equals to negative 2. So 5x minus 4x, you get x is equals to negative 2. And finally, the last question is, you can see this value here, you need to do a bit of some calculation. You can see a base of 4 and a base of 2. So we need to make this 4 to be the base of 2. So it becomes 2 power 2, which is the same as 4, times 5x, which is on the outside. So this becomes 2 power 10x. So it becomes 2 power 10x divided by 2. You open this bracket, 3x times 2 to give us 6x is equals to 256. If you look at the factors of 256, it becomes power 8. You can do the factors by yourself on the side. So 10x divided by 2 power 6x is equals to 2 power 8. So basically what you have done is put them in the same base to make our work easier. So when we work out the indices, it becomes 10x. Division is subtraction. 6x is equals to 8. So 10x minus 6x gives us 4x is equals to 8. You divide by 4, you divide by 4, you get the value of x to be 2. So that's how you use the indices to work out on different values. We may not have exhausted all the questions in this uh, section. You can get more revision questions on the app and also more notes on the same. So you can download and get the app and, and work out those questions. So see you in the next lesson as you continue with the same topic.